landed right on top of us. You're right. But don't upset yourself. You'll get one of your rashes. I will not get a rash! Come back inside. There's nothing we can do tonight. We'll sort it out in the morning. I am the pressure. Fang, my vampire senses are tingling. And you know what that means. I called the mayor's office. Did they say what happened last night? It seems they used too much dynamite down at the rock quarry. Luckily, no one got hurt. I'll get it. Good morning. I'm here to remove the boulder from your front yard. I hope you plan to fill in the hole in our lawn. Of course. And you're all invited to the quarry's Granite's Good Open House this weekend. It's our way of telling the town we're sorry for any inconvenience. Since when does a quarry have an open house? <coughs> I don't understand how granite can be good if it causes so much dust. Are you <laughs> kidding? Stones, rocks, boulders, they're all super cool. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in this quarry. We'll need to check things out further. Well, why don't you start with me? Want to ask me some questions while we eat ice cream? So, how's the ice cream? Mmm, great. But actually, we're interested in learning more about the Quivering Quarry Man legend. Oh, that. He was a great worker, but he drove himself too hard. He kind of lost it. Thought rocks were alive got spooked and started talking to him. Hmm. Did he ever talk about the granite Goliath? Goliath rocks. That's what we quarrymen call big, huge boulders that are real hard to crush. Really? So, where's the safest place to hide from a big Goliath rock? Hide? Mm, in the woods, I reckon. Sometimes it pays to run away from big rocks, just like you kids did today. Let's go. What? But our ice cream! Thanks for the ice cream and the information. I bet the Quivering Quarry Man is in the woods. What's he doing there? Like the foreman said, it's the safest place to hide from the Granite Goliath. But what makes you think the Granite Goliath is a problem? Charlie, first he tried to crush my house. Then he tried to crush us. He knows we're onto him. The Quivering Quarry Man can help us deal with the Granite Goliath. What was that? It's the Granite Goliath! Run! <laughs> You're the Quivering 
quarry man, aren't you? How do you know my name? We saw your picture at the quarry exhibit. We're here to help you. Were you running from the granite goliath? Yes. All the explosions have woken him up. He's planning an all-out assault on the town. The town? What for? The Granite Goliath believes that all rocks belong to him and that humans have been stealing his property. But I thought all the rocks belonged to the quarry. That's not how he sees it. He's out to get revenge for all the rocks taken from the quarry. He's coming closer. I have to prepare for battle. Don't follow me. You're no match for the Granite Goliath. Granite Goliath must be destroyed before all our houses are crushed. But how are we gonna do that? Don't worry, Mona the Vampire is on the case. Meet me at my house tomorrow morning in full battle gear. What's all that stuff for? Remember rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. I'm not sure if it's paper or scissors that defeats rock. So, I also brought along these shovels. They're sharp like scissors. I think it's paper defeats rock, but how's that gonna work against the granite goliath? I don't know yet, but let's bring everything, just in case. It's good today's Sunday, so we can battle the granite goliath without all those quarry workmen in the way. You're welcome. Now I can leave this place knowing that Granite Goliath is gone forever. Goodbye! See ya! What are you kids doing here? We just defeated the Granite Goliath. Well, I'm happy to see you're okay, but I'm not happy you kids were in here. I just got word of an avalanche in the quarry. It was no avalanche. That was the sound of the Granite Goliath being crushed. The Quivering Quarry Man helped us. The Quivering Quarry Man, eh? I think you probably saw the weekend security guard. That's one explanation. Our work is done here, Mr. Foreman. Call us when you want us to collect our reward at the ice cream parlor. Reward? Oh, sure. Just promise not to come in here alone again. I don't think we'll need to. Bye. <laughs>
Goodbye, sweetie. Goodbye, Charles. Be good. Eat your vegetables. I didn't know you were coming to Space Camp, Lawrence. It was my dad's idea. I want to go to circus camp. Wait! Bye, you guys. You two are gonna have an amazing time while I'm stuck on a stupid fishing trip with my dad. Cheer up, Lily. You'll be right across the lake from us. Here, take this interstellar communicator. That way we can reach you if we catch any... You know what? We're all gonna miss Mona, even Fang, thanks to the no cats allowed rule. Isn't this great? Space camp at last. Our chance to learn from the great Sparky Nickerson, a real life astronaut. Over here, space campers. Up to. Check out that cool space simulator. <laughs> I'm Kenny, your space camp counselor. Oh, uh, I, I mean, first officer. What about Sparky? Where's Sparky? You'll meet him later. First, lose his civilian clothes, regulation uniforms only. Kenny, when do we meet Sparky? I said later, kid. You've got to survive space camp initiation first. <sighs> Congratulations, you all achieved the rank of junior astronauts, third class. Wow! Get yourselves cleaned up, it's chow time. All right, I can't wait to eat real astronaut food. Cheeseburger and fries flavor, awesome. You know, they sell the stuff so we can take a bunch home with us. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. That's weird. The only ingredient is something called dehydrolite. I guess that's why the stuff's called dehydrolac. This stuff is definitely some form of alien gruel. Attention, space campers. It's my pleasure to introduce your fearless leader, Sparky Nickerson. A nearsighted astronaut? I thought they all had 20-20 vision. Welcome, young space campers. As I look upon you, I look upon a brave new generation. About to take their first steps on the noblest of journeys, space exploration. Did you see that? Shh. I don't want to miss a word. And remember, don't forget to take home lots of tasty dehydraulic. The food of astronauts. I salute you. Oh, and uh, live long and... Uh, cat! Who let that beast in here? No cats allowed! Run, Fang, run! This is where you get to pilot your very own spaceship for 10 minutes a turn. No budding in line. This is so lame. The brochure said we'd be taking off in that. Fang! What did you say? Uh, fantastic. This place is fantastic. Whatever, kid. Just stick with the program and don't button line. Sparky flew on. So this is where Kenny's been stashing all the real food. I wonder what this is supposed to do. I think we better prepare for takeoff. I don't know 
know where we are, but it's way cooler than Space Camp. <laughs> Glasses as Sparky. There's Sparky, but he's not wearing his glasses. Continue working. There are many Earthlings hungry for the sweet taste of dehydrolite. up to this rocket is strictly off limits we're looking for the uh, latrines and why are you out of uniform um these are our uh, pajamas we wanted to be ready for the night curfew oh well the latrines are that way to eternity and even further no no that, that's not right <laughs> to forever and the infinite scope of the universe. That's it. Thanks. It's my duty to impersonate our leader. But I can't possibly match his greatness. And wait until he finds out I've failed in making Dehydrolac popular here on Earth. That's it. The real Sparky never returned from his space mission. He enslaved the Dehydrolaxians and sent one of them back in his place. So he's been living the good life while the alien Sparky's running this crummy camp. And trying to get us to eat Dehydrolac here on Earth. But it tastes awful. That's why we have to go back to Dehydrolac 7 and stop the real Sparky. But how? We can't risk getting caught by Kenny again. I have a plan, but we'll need to enlist another space camper. Hey, where have you been? Where did you get those chips? Mona and I found out where all the real food is, and we'll let you in on it, but we need your help first. Mm, I want to go home. <laughs> I want my mommy! Look out, Sparky! A space camper invasion is coming your way! Shovel the hydrolite. The shovel must be a mind control device. We've got to get it. Get him, Fang! What a cute kitty. Uh-oh. Only the aliens are afraid of cats. And Sparky's no alien. Who brought you here? I'm Mona the Vampire, and I've come to end your reign of tyranny. Ha! A couple of Earth brats can't stop me. I'll just add you to my crew. Seize them! Looks like we're doomed! We finally get to go to outer space, and we end up doomed to shovel lousy powdered food for the rest of our lives. We'll probably never see Princess Giant again. Princess Giant! That's it! Dad, can we go back and... Shh! Oops. Sorry. I know, I know. Fishing requires absolute silence. Space campers to Princess Giant! This is an emergency! Princess Giant receiving you loud and clear! We're trapped on an alien planet! And only you can save us! I'll do anything I can! We need you to sneak into Space Camp and get Sparky glasses and reverse the hidden transmitter. You got it. I think my dad would like to fish alone for a while anyway. Hey, my glasses! Princess Giant to Space Cappers. Mission accomplished. Give me back those glasses! Give me back those glasses. No problem. I'm done with them now. And get away from that rocket. It's strictly off limits. That's not regulation food. And what are you kids doing in there? You can go home now. 
Thanks to Princess Giant, we were able to reverse the real Sparky's mind-controlling signal. Your people are no longer enslaved to dig that really bad-tasting powdered food. I see. Kenny, I think it's time to send the children home now. They've all had too much excitement. And Kenny, you can go home too.